Russia has always been recognized for its anti-aircraft systems. With short, medium and long-range defenses, the Russians have become a reference in denying the use of airspace with missile systems that represent a type of solution known as hard kill, that is, one that effectively aims to destroy the enemy. However, the Russians also invest heavily, possibly more than any other nation in the world, in ground-based electronic warfare systems whose objective is to destroy the situational awareness of an enemy air force through interference with its systems and sensors, such as GPS jammers, which constitute a solution known as soft kill. All modern weapon systems rely, at least in part, on satellite navigation systems such as GPS, Galileo OU GLONASS. They are fundamental to allowing platforms, such as combat aircraft, to navigate precisely and find their targets, especially when operating deep in enemy territory. Without satellite navigation capability, many attack missions become infeasible due to the low chance of success and high risk. Since the Gripen was a fighter designed from the beginning to be capable of facing Russian forces, the Swedish fighter could not lack the ability to get around the problem of powerful Russian GPS jammers, and this need gave rise to a very creative solution, efficient and also little known. Saab has developed an anti-jammer solution for the Gripen that is made up of two main subsystems that act in an integrated manner. The first is a database, where three-dimensional maps of areas of interest and their respective approach routes are inserted. If the Gripen receives, for example, the mission to attack a land target of high strategic value from an enemy nation, a three-dimensional map of this point and the approach route is developed and inserted into its memory. These maps are made using civil satellites and can be developed by companies specialized in this type of work. The aircraft database can store a large number of maps at the same time. The second subsystem is a high-definition camera, which is installed in the lower part of the Gripen fuselage. This system works by integrating the images obtained by the camera with the data entered into the database. In this way, once the Gripen enters an area where the use of GPS is denied, the auxiliary navigation system comes into operation and starts to compare the ground images obtained by the high-definition camera with the three-dimensional map of that respective area inserted in your memory. This allows Gripen to create reference points that allow the pilot to know his exact position, even if no GPS signal is available. This makes Gripen virtually immune to GPS jamming by even the most sophisticated Russian systems, such as the powerful Krasuka, which once posed a challenge even to Israeli forces while operating in Syria. This highlights once again the great focus that Gripen has received in the area of electronic warfare. Not only was it developed to have a great ability to interfere with enemy sensors, but it was also designed to resist interference from its adversary's electronic warfare systems. And you, did you already know that Gripen had this ability? Reply here in the comments. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.